Hi, okay, one of the things that I have found is that as women, especially of a certain age, we're supposed to know how to do our makeup. <laughs> and if we don't, it can be a little weird to ask somebody how to do that. So one of the things I like to always include is a, in a party is a, a little eyeshadow how-to for a very basic eyeshadow application. So I'm gonna do that today. Um, I'm gonna tell you, we're gonna use a quad palette. So I'm gonna start with an eye primers because we're gonna use, we're just gonna use some browns because everybody's comfortable with browns. We're just gonna use um, some eye primer first. This stuff is amazing. It will last you, this tube will last you, I'm not supposed to say this probably, but this tube will last you about two years. <laughs> about two years. You only need about the size of a grain of rice. It is slightly tinted, so if you have just minor upper eye or lid coloring problems, it's going to help you a little bit. This is dif different than face primer because it's eye primer. It's meant to hold eyeshadow, and eyeshadow is a very different product than foundation. So it's going to be a little tacky when you get it on. I would say if you have more mature eyes, eye primer is going to be crucial for you. That's Eddie in the background. He likes to come join me <laughs> for my video. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start, and I'm gonna give you some options. I chose, this is optimistic, because you need a sparkle. This is uh, joyful, it's a gold cappuccino. It's, so it's not as gold as it looks, it's a little more brown. This is jealous, it's kind of a neutral brown. You're gonna want a medium toned brown for a transition shade. And it can be for not when just when you're using browns. It can be very helpful for almost any color to have a really very medium matte brown as your transition shade. If you don't know what a transition shade is, I'm gonna tell you. And then I chose Earthy, Earthly, because Earthly is a really versatile color. It's a little dark, but you it doesn't have to go on that dark. You can use it lightly. So it's a really good brown. It's also a matte. If you're a if you don't want any shimmer, then I would suggest laid back and probably like timid or, shoot, I'm gonna forget the names. Um, there's a tan that I can't think of right now. It's a, it's a really good um, matte color. I can help you pick your shadows, just for your eye color, for your skin tone, for all of that. I can help you pick that out. So you get the right ones for you. The next thing I'm gonna tell you about are the brushes that we're gonna use. It's very important to use the correct brushes. So I'm gonna start with a fluffy brush, okay? This is, this is not a fluffy brush, this is a blending brush, okay? Then I also have a fluffy crease brush, and I have a crease brush. Now you can see with these that they get smaller as you go. So the darker colors, you go smaller. The lighter colors, you go bigger. And then for the lid, I'm gonna use this liner shader brush, okay? We're gonna start with the transition shade. Remember, that's your medium matte shade. It goes here on the outer edge, okay? Your eyeshadow should be from the end of your eye to the end of your eyebrow, okay? That's where your shadow should end. That way you get everything lifting up. If you get outside of that, you can do that if that's a look that you want, but it's going to pull your eye down, the, the, the line of your eye down. You want it lifted up. So we're gonna go in with this Jealous, and you're just gonna make circles and rainbows, and I like the, this uh, blending brush to do this because see how high up the brow bone it goes? You really need to get up higher than you're probably used to so that you can create some depth in your eye. I know when I first started, I did not do this transition shade very big at all. And it really, I've had to learn to be comfortable with it, but I, I highly recommend that you learn to be comfortable with it because it's really gonna open up your eye and provide some that depth and dimension that eyeshadow is supposed to do for you. Okay, I think I'll just do one eye to make this faster. Okay, then I'm going to take my liner shader brush and I'm gonna use the shader in and I'm gonna pat it in this Joyful, okay? Now this is a brush, you're gonna to wanna to swipe. Don't swipe. When you, especially when you're using a shimmer color or a sparkly color, if you swipe, you're going to send product everywhere and it's gonna fall out on your face. 
This also allows you to use less product because it's all staying there. Isn't it such a pretty color? See how it's, it's gold, but it's kind of a brown. It's kind of surprising when you put it on. And you want to keep that right on your eyeball. See how I'm keeping my eye open? I'm keeping it right on my eyeball, all the way down to this inner corner. A little sparkle here helps your eye look a little bit bigger, okay? Then I'm going to take the Optimistic, and I'm just going to use this brush real quick. I don't think we have this brush anymore, and I'm going to put it right up here in the arch of my brow, okay? So I did a transition shade. That's this medium shade. We did a lid shade, and we did a highlight shade. You can also take that highlighter and pop it right here in the corner again to make that eye look nice and wide open. Then you're always going to go back and blend after each shade. You can do that with laid back as, as well. That's the uh, matte ivory color. If you don't like the shimmer, that's easy. That's an easy switch to make. I'm going to add just a little more jealous, lightly up a little higher. So see how high I'm going? This does not have to be perfect. Your transition shade doesn't have to be perfect. It's kind of setting the background for the depth to develop, but it's also a place where our real our other shadows can um, blend and look great for us. So now I'm going to take this Earthly, and I'm going to show you how to use a crease brush with it, but then I'm going to go back with a fluffy crease brush in case the crease brush is just not something that you want. And I didn't go super dark with this color choice because I know dark tends to intimidate people. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a seven or an L in this outer corner. Now, if you have hooded eyes, that means you, your eye covers most of your lid, and you're gonna wanna make sure that your jealous is peeking up over your eye and that your crease shade is also peeking up over your eye because it sits if it sits in the crease and no one ever sees it, it's not gonna help you your eye look bigger. We want to give the impression that your eye is bigger. So we maximize the space on the lid with a light color, a light color that catches the light. See how I'm keeping my eye open and making sure it peeks up over. Now, if you're uncomfortable with that much dark, just keep it to a tight little V right here. But that's gonna help draw your eye up. So let me show you on this eye. Let's go back with the Jealous real quick and do a transition shade. circles and rainbows, keeping it here. Now, if you get outside the lines, go ahead and finish your eye look and then take your concealer and swipe in a line right there and blend that out to pick that eye back up. For an everyday look, most people are pretty comfortable with just what I'm about to show you. So I'm gonna take this Joyful, just like I did over here, and put it on the lid only. See how I'm stopping? where my eyeball stops. Okay, and then blend that edge where they meet. Now, if you wanted to stop there, you could stop there for an everyday look. But I wanna show you what adding this darker color can do. Can you already see that this eye looks a little more lifted? It's because of that dark spot that we put right there. It's how we play with shadow and light. With a fluffy crease brush though, you can make that a little bigger since it's not a super dark color. and you don't have to be as careful with it. But I'm still keeping it, peeking up over my eye when my eye is open. See how I'm doing that? It's very important. If it sits in your crease and no one can see it, it's not helping you. There we go. And then you would blend that out. Now obviously the darker the shade you choose as your crease color, the more dramatic effect that you're going to have. So there you go, browns, nice easy browns. Um, again, I can help you pick your shadows for this and this is the customer special this month. So you pick a quad palette and we have well over 25 shades to, to choose from. That can be a little daunting, so I, I will help you. You pick a quad palette, you pick an eyeliner and a lip gloss for $72 or you can choose to add on and put add a lip pencil 
and a mascara product of your lash product of your choice and have even more savings. And then you would also, also get free shipping because free shipping happens at $100. There you go. If I can help you at all, drop a comment, send me a personal message. That's fine. Y'all have a great night. Bye. Or day or evening. Whatever you're watching. Bye.